Hi, I'm Anthony and I'm a paramedic and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to carry out an electrocardiogram on a patient. Uh, ECG for short. Okay, the first thing we need to do is prep the area because we want good contact with the pads. So if the patient is excessively hairy, we're going to shave that area. This patient is okay. And in short, dry off any fluids or uh, any sweat that may be in place. When we're applying the pads, I would normally prep the pads uh, first by attaching the dot to the wire, like so. That way we don't cause the patient any undue stress by pushing the monitoring dot onto the patient. When we're applying the leads, you can use the acronym from the right shoulder, ride your green bike to help you remember where to put the leads. Okay, so the first one, one we're going to put in is the red. Placing it on to the top right shoulder like so. The next one, your for yellow. Green is what it says on the tin, the green. This can be put in two areas. We can put it down here on the trunk, which is usually used in a pre-hospital environment, or it can be put on the inside of the ankle of the limb. For the purpose of this demonstration, it's going onto the trunk. Green, and the last one then is B for black. or as my acronym says, bike. Ride your green bike. Happy that the limb leads are in place. We'll now go on to the chest leads. Now put it on the chest leads. We first landmark the fourth intercostal space. Okay, so coming from the clavicle bone, one, two, three, four, and again using our acronym, except there's a bit added to it this time, ride your green bike backward violently. You can make up your own acronym. These are color coded, but they're also numbered, should you wish to use the numbers. Two, three, four. And the first pad goes to the right hand side of the central chest bone in that fourth intercostal space. The next is yellow. which will go straight across to the left side of that central chest bone. Again, on the forward intercostal space. The next is green. which goes into the fifth intercostal space, which is just below the fourth, like so. The next one is brown.
can't go in to the fourth or Murphy, excuse me, the fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line. So here's the mid clavicular line coming straight down. And the fourth goes on. The next one is black. Test lead five. Again in the fifth intercostal space to the front or anterior aspect of the mid auxiliary line. And then sixth chest lead. is to the anterior aspect again, the front side of the mid auxilla line, which is just below the armpit. After you place on the 12 leads, you now want to get your printout from your machine. Familiarize yourself with the ECG in your local area. Turn on the machine. And advise the patient to not talk and sit completely still. So please don't talk. Stay as still as you can. When you're happy. Okay, as still as you can, please. So the machine will monitor the patient heart rhythm and then we'll give you a printout of the ECG. Take this printout to advanced cardiac care.